a little joke. I know how that may sound a bit weird in this context under these circumstances. But I think you're the perfect audience for it. As long as you uh, don't, if you don't like it or you don't think it's funny or inappropriate, that you don't hold it against Mr. Zimmerman. You can hold it against me if you want, but not Mr. Zimmerman. I have your assurance. You won't. Here's how it goes. Knock, knock. Who's there? George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman, who? All right, good. You're on the jury. Nothing? That's funny. After what you folks have been through the last two or three weeks, Tonight, remembering all the good in a Dayton team whose terrible mistake led to him being murdered. Franklin police say 16-year-old Dion Peng was beaten to death during a drug deal, and his attackers then dumped his body outside of an emergency room. Alexander Lewis was at the candlelight vigil tonight and spoke exclusively to Dion's mother, Alex. Well, more than 100 people came out to say goodbye to the slain teen in West Dayton tonight, and Dion's mother and her supporters hope the teen's violent death can be a cautionary tale for others following or who may be thinking about following the same path. There is power in the name. You never met a stranger, Dion. And I will see you at the crossroads. I love you, Dion. An emotional goodbye from mother to son. Tamiko Payne's 16-year-old Dion died a day after he was dumped off at Atria Medical Center in Middletown. Police say the teen had severe head and chest injuries and appeared to have been sexually assaulted. They took that away from us. Not right. The outpour of love tonight soothed the grieving mother. Mom, 